In this video, we are going to continue with the discriminant and nature of roots of quadratic equations. You will find this on page 16 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see better. Okay, so I start. Determine the value of the unknown given the nature of the roots. Now, now I'm not asking the nature of the roots. I give the nature of the roots and then I ask you to find the value of an unknown. So first write the equation in standard form. Make sure it is. Then work out just the discriminant and form a new equation using the following table. Okay, so if it's equal, Oh, and did you see that word? Or repeat it. That's another word they can use for equal. Then it's equal to zero. If it's non-real or imaginary, then it's smaller than zero, the discriminant. If it's real, then it's bigger or equal to zero. But if it's real and unequal roots, then it's just bigger than zero. So if the real can include this too, but otherwise, if they say unequal, then it's just bigger than zero. Let's look at an example. The quadratic equation where p is a constant has two equal roots. Find the value of p. Now, this is very important. Equal roots. Okay. So, first I'm going to start and I'm going to say, okay, where is my p? I take my, I just work out p squared minus 4c must be equal to 0. Okay. And now, I just, just substitute. a is 1, b is 16. And C is P. And then I just take it over. And then actually I swap that side. It was a negative, negative. Or I divide both sides. And I got P is 64. Okay. <clears throat> I want you to stop the video. And I'm first going to make it bigger. That you can see better. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do for me number 1A and number 2b. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Okay. In each of the following equations, find the possible value values of the constant p if the equation, and this is very, very important, if the equation has two real and equal roots. Very important, equal. So first, let's start by writing down my equation. 2x squared minus 28x minus p is equal to 0. Okay, now I start. Uh, don't forget, this is a... This is B, and this is C. Now, if it's equal root, I'm going to start by saying the discriminant is equal to zero. The discriminant will be B squared minus 4AC will be equal to zero. Now, in the place of B, negative 28 squared minus 4A2, and then... I'm going to put negative p, and that will be equal to 0. Okay. And I start multiplying. I square that, and I get 7, 8, 4. A negative times a negative is positive 8p, and that's equal to 0. So 8p is equal to negative 7, 8, 4. I divide 8, I divide 8, so therefore p is equal to negative 98. Okay. Let's go to the next one, number 2. Again, first write down your equation. So if I'm writing it down, um, where is it now? Okay, let's start there. This is number 2b. So it will be x squared plus k plus 1 x plus k is equal to 0. Okay. So this is going to be a, 
this is going to be B and this is going to be C. Okay, and now I start. In each of the following equations, calculate the value of K if the equation has repeated roots. Now, can you remember in the previous I said other word for repeated roots is that repeated roots is equal, that means equal roots. So basically, I'm going to say the same. The discriminant must be equal to zero. So b squared minus 4ac must be equal to zero. So b squared, it's k plus 1 squared minus 4a1ck, and that's equal to zero. Okay, now don't forget. You must always do it either where you're going to say the long way, so you're going to multiply, 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 okay? Or I do the short way. I square the first one. I multiply the two with each other and with two, so it's 2k. I square the last one, it's 1, and minus I 4k equals 0. Okay, there's only one negative, that's why it's negative. So then it's k, there's my like, so it's minus 2k plus 1 equals 0. And now I factorize. It's in group A. Do you see? So it's 1 and 1 and 1 and 1. If I cross multiply, I get 1 plus 1, and that will give me a sum total of 2. So 1 plus 1, it's 2. And then the signs will be the same, the same, and both middle sign, negative, negative. K, K, always that value. Or uh, unknown. So it's K minus 1, K minus 1, equals 0. So therefore, k is equal to 1 or k is equal to 1 because it's the same value. Okay, so therefore k is just equal to 1 and that's how you do it.